A health concern this midday, a new report finds that you could be at the highest risk of getting the flu just because you live in Tennessee. The CDC announcing that Tennessee has the most cases in the country. Stefan Reels is here this morning with a closer look at those numbers and how it impacts us right here at home. Just within the state of Tennessee, Memphis and Shelby County are seeing the highest rates for flu-like illnesses. But some doctors say they're actually seeing less cases this year than last year. The real outlier comes with what happens after people recover from the flu. Dr. Sandy Arnold, Division Chief of Infectious Diseases at La Bonner, said this year doctors have seen higher amounts of complications a week or two after someone first gets the flu, including bacterial pneumonia, headaches, and sinus infections. And while there isn't a clear reason why this is happening, a flu shot can be a very good way to reduce the intensity. Because that's just going to contribute to the spread of the virus. There are medications that you can take that will reduce the severity of your illness and increase uh, the chance that you'll get better quickly, like Tamiflu. Now, if you think you might be experiencing pneumonia or other complications, Dr. Arnold says the best thing to do is go to your doctor and see if they can do a chest x-ray to see if you actually do have any of those complications before you head to the emergency room. In the medical district, I'm Stefan Reels.